So if you would have put one dollar in Amazon in 2008, right now the value would have been somewhere around 180 dollars. Similarly, if you are invested in Hindustan Unilever, somewhere in uh, 2008, if you have put 500 rupees in the Hindustan Unilever, now that could be somewhere around 2300 rupees. Now all of you understand that Amazon was a great company in 2008 and it is a great company even today. Similarly, Hindustan Unilever was a great company in 2008. Even today, it is a great company and in future as well. So the simple roadmap of generating profits in equity seems to be buy and hold and in today's video i will be going to discuss about these buy and hold stocks for the next 10 years so on this video i'm going to explain two things first one is that what is the framework of identifying these multi-bagger stocks like titan hindustan unilever which has turned it into the multi-baggers and um, with the with this framework you can find some multi-bagger stocks of course all of them will not go uh, as as much you expected and the second i will give some uh, multi-bagger potential stocks but please watch the video until the end also a very humble request to you please subscribe to this youtube channel like share and comment so that it will be reaching to much more people i'm putting a lot of efforts to make video a lot of uh, work is going on to these videos so support from your side is very important to me so let's dive into the video so the framework i had developed uh, by investing my own money i also invested my own money in these stocks and it's a very very long term bet and uh, if you see the fundamentals uh, uh, i will show you the fundamentals i show you the key list it is only for the examples don't copy paste it because you should know why you are putting your money so if you don't have any knowledge please please consult your financial advisor before making any investment decision or financial decision I and mean, if you are if you know something then do your own research before investing in every stock because there may be some points that i missed out so the first uh, the first framework uh, the first point in my framework is that uh, the industry show growth should be more than 10 to 12 percent what i mean is that uh, see if the inflation inflation rate of india is will be somewhere around seven to eight percent um if you see the government uh, which the government gives is somewhere around five to six percent it is overall inflation but if you see the uh, you know inflation rate in medical it is approximately about 14 percent if you see the in inflation rate in uh, you know luxury goods it is somewhere around 14 percent uh, if you see uh, uh, let us take an example what is the cost of an egg uh, of five years before somewhere around three four rupees now it is somewhere around six seven rupees six rupees uh, so i can say that uh, the industry show growth should be more than 10 to 12 percent and uh, if you find for example what uh, how can you find the industry growth just go to the um, chrome then type what is the industry growth of certain sector so if you if the industry growth is somewhere greater than 10 percent i think it may be go for the next 10 years it may be a very good opportunity to invest in the stock so this is all the filters you can apply you just go and go into the chrome and just uh, you know what sector you are for example banking sector what is the banking sector growth in india you will be finding some number somewhere around 16 to 17 percent there should be a barrier of entry for example uh, uh, if i want to build apple tomorrow i will go and open a shop and i will be going to sell some phones so if you are taking in this perspective i think that is a wrong perspective you are not building you know only the electronics um yeah the apple comes under the luxuries same like uh, louis vuitton and these are all you know luxurious uh, uh, items and people are uh, going through brand okay so they will only see the brand they go and they buy the uh, you know iphones or you know uh, clothes from the uh, much more uh, uh, good companies so creating brand is very important so if you think that uh, apple is only electronic uh, company and i'm going uh, there and i will be opening a you know company and i will be the apple it, it is not going to possible right so the industry barrier should be very high so here the industry barrier should be very high the third point is that uh, the uh, the third point is that you know the regulations for example if you take um, uh, for example gaming sector um, as i told that uh, delta corporation i was in invested rajesh exports so these are all uh, you know very high uh, of, uh, you know very high controlled or you know very high regulated uh, very very high regulated uh, you know companies so if you are investing in these type of companies like the export businesses or you know gaming sector yeah i do invest in the export business for example krbl but it is a different story i will be playing on a theme uh, so 
uh, that that sectors might be a little bit problem because if if government want to you know ban uh, gaming sector they can do it right so for example delta uh, delta corporation what happened what happening with the dream 11 what happening with the you know uh, many many companies which are you know gambling or you know certain kind of gaming industry they are going through a tough time because government want these companies to die they directly uh, will not you know sometimes they directly do sometimes they will you know generate the gst records and they show you that uh, this will be uh, um, you know uh, gst you should pay for example 5000 crores of uh, you know ma market cap uh, market cap somewhere uh, delta corporation and now the gst notice about somewhere around 16000 crores this is this is uh, uh, the government can do if they want to kill the industry they can do it so please uh, make sure that you are not putting your money in the very high regulated businesses um, for example banking sector is a high regulated business but they will not kill uh, the banking sector why because banking is very important but unfortunately it is a very high regulated uh, and high regulation is good for the banking sector because a lot of scams can go uh, something can grow wrong in the banking industry so the strict norms the strict regulations is a very positive for the finance and uh, some companies like uh, some uh, sectors like banking sector and finance sectors so the expansion should be very high and uh, if you see the opportunity for example there should be opportunities present in the uh, present in that uh, stock so the th this uh, the fourth point is that um, the uh, uh, you know uh, which sector you are selecting should be have the greater opportunity for a, for example i had selected uh, the financial sector the financial scope is very high uh, for example take amc businesses they are uh, there was hugely under penetrated for example life insurance companies for example healthcare system uh, for example uh, you know uh, dmart kind of real estate uh, dmart kind of uh, you know malls uh, which is highly under penetrated so uh, you know India is going through a transformation phase and uh, if you see the transformation yeah, they are doing uh, transformation from unorganized sectors to organized sectors so when this is going to happen uh, then automatically some small businesses uh, will will be going to die and big businesses will establish for example like DMART and many people will be directly going to DMART and buy those things uh, so you should uh, you should take uh, you should uh, you should note note all these so the expansion should be very high so in this case uh, the expansion uh, is high so how can i say is that uh, if you see the demand it is not entered into the t2 t3 cities it, it might enter in some days or yes and uh, the entry barrier is very high i will be discussing in the subsequent video but if you see the uh, the uh, you know uh, expansion can possible uh, will be possible and the second is that the expansion in finance is possible amc businesses healthcare system because in healthcare system also we are moving from unorganized sector to organized sector uh, this will happen soon uh, why, when we don't know we should build our positions uh, slowly i can say if you are if you want to invest 100 rupees of amount uh, first you will be doing sip for some years then if you see the headwind then you are going to invest a lump sum amount so i am doing sip as of now and uh, i wrote a post i wrote a post in the community tab if you are not following please make sure that you uh, follow and subscribe to this youtube channel so you can find the um these uh things easily so the four the fifth thing is that um you, there should be no red flags uh for example i invested in rajesh exports and i made a loss uh, so that's that's the point in the leadership in the scams for example es bank had your scam and people are you know uh uh, taking his bank and you know buying i'm not saying that his bank is not a very good bank but unfortunately if you see that's a different narrative their interest rate was very high the p /E ratio was very high and they like diluted their stock so i don't want to invest in the uh, s bank of course uh, if, if the management changes if all uh, clear thing was happening then uh, then maybe it was a good time for example indie bulls and all those uh, stocks and the profit should be um, you know uh, taken by the uh, 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 stakeholders okay so the first thing is that for example take vedant okay so what happens in the vedant is that they are taking uh, you know the people or um, mainly you know promoters was uh, gave their uh, you know they um, pledged their shares and they took the loan and they are you know uh, giving a lots of amount of dividend so that they can get money because moreover uh, i can say the mo moreover the uh mm, moreover the shares of the promoters is very high so they can end the money so this is where uh, these uh, things happen and example i will not mostly i will not invest in the 
uh, you know public sector because they are not going to um, work for the profit they are going to work for the services they are going to work for the profitability of people they are not going to work uh, or profitable uh, for us so that's the main point okay and the thing is that um, the uh, last most important thing is that there should be tailwinds or you know headwinds so that we are um, you know, we are going to grab the opportunity for example um, the debit credit card is the very underrated business because um, in india for uh, you know if you if you see our grandparents or you know parents they are not uh, go uh, they are not taking uh, they are not um, you know prefer to taking uh, take loans because if you take loans in that time you are um, you are you are broke right so now it has changed you are you are taking loan for you for building the house you are taking uh, loan for building you know uh, you know buying a car buying a bike so uh, time changes uh, with the time you your investment style should change for example credit card business is you know very under penetrated business and there are a lot of opportunities um, you can find in the credit card uh, in credit cards in india so the uh, so here are some stocks i I am I am buying with a you know I had I had bought these stocks I am holding these stocks. The first one is that uh, AMC businesses as I told I bought CDSL Camps India. Um, I will be going to buy HDFC AMC uh, because there is a I am thinking that there will be a correction. If not, uh, I may miss the opportunity. But I think there will be a uh, you know correction in the uh, next uh, you know one or two years then i can find the opportunity then i will be grabbing that opportunity i did it last time uh, for example in the 2022 23 22 and 23 hdfc bottomed out hdfc amc bottomed out uh, somewhere around that time i did a uh, video about uh, Nip um, post about nippon india hdfc amcs and lot more cdsl camps india i had uh, done a lot of posts and lot of uh, you know videos about that uh, and I think they gave you a good returns. Uh, same with the five by Sai Angel one. I did a lot of videos and they gave you very good returns in the market. So here also, I am thinking that HDFC AMC will be going to correct because the profits will be going to down. So why I am telling the profits is going to down when the bull market is over, people uh, will start to uh, you know take out the uh, take out their money. Um, for example, if the uh, bull market is over and uh, stocks are started to fall, they you know most of the retail investors will panic and take out their money from the uh, AMC, you know, uh, from the mutual funds and stocks, then, you know, there will be some correction in the uh, AMC businesses and, uh, you know, financial stocks. So, same with the HDFC, AMC, NAM India. Uh, mm, and uh, and i bought angel one yesterday because of the same reason uh, but it has been correct it has corrected um you know a substantial amount i can say somewhere around uh somewhere around 30 to 40 percent correction is already happened i bought it uh when it was uh, somewhere around 33 percent down from its peak and i was uh it's uh, it a it a you know um, uh, it, it a very it a good profit like in two days i got somewhere around 16 to 17 percent so i think it's a you know uh good um i can say uh, what how much yeah i get uh, i got 13 percent or 14 percent of uh profit in the just two to three day, uh, days of time and uh, uh, i think this will be going to somewhere around it will be a multi-bagger uh, just to hold the stock but uh as of now it is a very good stock and uh, and that's uh that's a plan to invest so the first one is five paisa uh angel one i am saying this this is a whole basket okay so the five paisa angel one cdsl camps india and um, uh, camps india and many more so people are asking about the cdsl what is the problem with the cdsl i think there is no problem with the cdsl what happens is in the march is that uh, these people okay the big investors uh start the big investors starts to book some profits okay so what happens is that when they they do uh, for example uh, tax harvesting these type of things will be going on so that time there will be some problem with these stocks so i think that's the that's the only problem i can't find any problem i bought cdsl today and uh, mm, yeah i bought a cdsl today camps india two days before and uh, yeah as i said angel one and uh, i am i am buying to plan you, you know i'm i'm planning to buy five paisa already i bought stocks yesterday but these are my sip stocks and sbi cards hindustan unilever and i will be making a separate post about explaining every stock and i had a uh, you know bunch of stock bunch of stocks that i can show you uh, i can show you but uh, this video will be going to take a lot of time there is somewhere around uh, i will show you one minute if you see these all are my you know uh, stocks that i had 
um that i had uh, in my portfolio i'm planning to buy in this portfolio so there are a lot of uh, somewhere around 20 to 22 stocks um as of now and i will be sharing this list in the community so please make sure that you uh subscribe to my channel to don't miss this i will be explaining only some of these for example amc sector nauma uh you know hdfc amc nippon amc and uh, some uh some industries like paint industry indigo paints uh, uh, and asian paints also uh, at a very good valuation and uh, maybe ber uh, berger paints so uh this will be going to uh, this will be the my second uh, you know industry third industry is absolutely financial industry in that geo finance um you know avas finance uh you know canfin homes and uh, aptus uh, finance these are going to my in the third basket in the fourth basket is that um sbi cards uh, you know financial mainly five paisa uh, five paisa and uh, that kind of stuff and uh, next is consumer uh, for example vedan fashions which is manyavar and uh, supermarkets like dmart and and then uh, and uh, the other sector is the healthcare sector for example narayana hrudayalaya uh, apollo hospitals rainbow children hospital um, you know next is max health uh, max health hospitals these are going to me in the other basket so make sure that you subscribe i will be posting this tomorrow or day after tomorrow and uh, it will be openly public uh, so please make sure that you don't take this as a, a you know any um advice or any kind of recommendation it is not at all the recommendation i am only showing you which sectors are going to perform of course i may not i, I will be i'm i'm i will i'm uh, of course i may go wrong um, sometimes you know everyone goes uh, wrong i'm i'm absolutely clear i will be transparent uh, from i am transparent from starting and will be transparent uh, in the future also so this is my uh, this is my um, video for, uh, as of now so please make sure um, that you check the post and subscribe to the channel thank you guys have a great day